let us take up insertion sort in arrays today. Now, uh, this is the third technique in sorting, the first two way selection sort and bubble sort. Now, insertion sort, <coughs> the basic things you have to remember here is, there is one constant variable which is called int min, uh, which comes under the header file limits dot h, right. Now, this int min, this stores the minimum possible integer value. Right. So, now we are going to use this concept uh, of int min in order to do the insertion sort. So, here whatever is the size of the array uh, like I can say supposing this is array, the, now the 0th element right, this is the 0th element, this is always reserved for this int min right. So, whatever array elements you want to enter that will start from 1, right. So, you should always remember that the for loop here will always start from int i is equal to 1, i less than equal to size. The 0th element is always reserved for the minimum possible integer, right. Now, let us look at this program here. This is the main method hash include iostream dot h, conu dot h. Now, here the limits dot h, this is the header file which we need for that int min, right. And this is the prototype of the function void i sort int array and int. In the main method, you write int array, take a size for that array, maximum size and this is n, see out n to the size of the array, n, n to the elements of the array. Now, when I enter the elements of the array, it is like this for int i is equal to 1, never put it as i is equal to 0, right. For int i is equal to 1, i less than equal to n i plus plus, here I take the input from the user into the array and here this is where the function is called, fine. Now, let us go to the function void i sort int array comma int n, right. Now, okay, inside this function, you first take a variable temp and a variable j, right. And then the first element that is the 0th element of the array is given the value int min, okay. After that, now the for loop start starts for int i is equal to 1, i less than equal to size n, here it is n i plus plus, right. Okay. Now, inside the for loop, you write temp is equal to array i, array i and j is equal to i minus 1. And then after this, we have a while loop. In the while loop, we say while temp is less than array j, array j, sorry. while temp is less than array j and then you have array j plus 1 is equal to array j and j is equal to j minus 1. Then close the while loop. After the while loop, you write array j plus 1 is equal to temp and then you can show the array see out array after pass is put a for loop here for int m is equal to 1, m less than equal to n, m plus plus and here you have see out array m right and then you close the for loop and the function right okay. Okay. Now, let us try to understand this. Now, suppose here I have the array, right. Uh, okay. I will put the array elements as 9, 4, 3, 2 and 34, right, okay. Okay. 
now let us see look at this first of all uh, you take this temp and j add a 0 is equal to int min. So, this is the position the 0th element which uh, takes the value of the minimum possible integer. Then we start with the array we start with the array i is equal to 1 right inside the array you write temp is equal to array i. So, temp becomes equal to what temp becomes equal to 9 fine and j is equal to 0 ok. So, now what is the while loop temp is less than array j that is 9 is less than array j is what array j is your int min array j is int min. So, 9 cannot be less than int min. So, the condition is false. So, we come out of the for while loop and out of the while loop we have this statement array j plus 1. Now, what is the value of j? j is 0. So, that is array 0 plus 1 is equal to temp so, which basically is array 1 is equal to temp right. Now, array 1 is equal to temp array 1 is equal to 9. So, it is the same nothing no change right. So, 9 was already there in 1 now again you are putting 9 uh, in 1 and then displaying the array. Now, we go back for the second iteration when you go back for the second iteration i becomes equal to 2 right and temp becomes equal to 4 array i that is array 2 and j becomes equal to i minus 1. So, j becomes equal to 1 fine. Now, this condition which we have put here this changes this while loop. Now, it is 4 less than 9 right temp is less than array j temp is less than array 1 4 is less than 9 is true. So, if 4 is less than 9 is true then what happens inside the while loop inside the while loop we have array j plus 1 is equal to array j array j plus 1 is 1 plus 1 array j is 1 right. So, that is basically array 1 plus 1 is 2 right. So, I have array <coughs> we have array 2 is equal to array 1 right array 2 is equal to array 1 and we say j minus minus j is equal to j minus 1 j becomes equal to 0 right. So, when you say array 2 is equal to array 1 what happens 9 comes over here fine and j is equal to 0 now again this condition 4 is less than int min which is always false right because 4 cannot be less than the minimum possible integer. So, you come out of the while loop and here you say array j plus 1 is equal to temp array j plus 1 now j is 0 right when you come out of the while loop j will be always 0 remember that and this becomes equal to 4. So, array 1 becomes equal to 4. So, now your array looks like this. This becomes 4 and this becomes 9 fine. Now, for the third iteration when you go for the third iteration i becomes equal to 3 j becomes equal to 2. So, all these things changes right ok. Hmm. Now, let us see just one more iteration I will explain uh, i is equal to 3 temp is equal to 3 j is equal to 2 ok. So, now the while loop 3 is less than array j 3 is less than 9 which is true. So, what happens array j plus 1 what is j j is 2. So, array 3 is equal to array 2 that is what is happening array 3 is equal to array 2 means this becomes equal to 9 right and then you have j is equal to j minus 1. So, j becomes equal to 1. Now, again the while loop 3 is less than array 1 that is 4 right. This is also true. So, now it becomes array j plus 1 j is 1. So, array 2 is equal to array 1. So, when I say array 2 is equal to array 1 4 comes over here right and then we say j is equal to j minus 1 once again. So, j becomes equal to 0. When j becomes equal to 0 now the while loop becomes 3 is less than int min which is false right which is false. So, you come out of the while loop and here you say array 0 plus 1 that is j plus 1 j is 0 now. So, 1 is equal to temp which is 3 right. So, now this position this becomes equal to a 3 understood. So, now your array is 3 4 9 2 like that.
right next time when you come into the loop this i will become what i will become equal to 4 right temp will become equal to 2 that is array i and j will become equal to 3 correct and now this is now this one this 3 less than 9 this becomes equal to 2 less than 9 2 is less than 9 the condition is true so this is array 4 is less is equal to array 3 so when you say array 4 is equal to array 3 the array now is like this 3 4 9 right okay so now this will become 9 fine then j becomes equal to 2 when j becomes equal to 2 this becomes 2 is less than 4 2 is less than 4 so what will happen this will become 4 here right this will become 3 and then finally this 2 will come here so now your array will be 2 3 4 9 when you do the next pass 34 will remain as it is because uh, 34 is not less than any of these numbers so finally after the sort the array becomes like this 2 3 4 9 and 34 so this is how your insertion sorting works so you have to understand the concept of int min here that is the zeroth element and always remember that the array elements entered by the user will always start from index 1 and not from index 0 right the other things are simple in this right only this has to be understood properly and the looping which we have given here the while loop this is something which you have to uh, learn properly right now we go back to the main function after i call this i sort then i can display the array here see out sorted array is and then like this you can have a for loop and display the array so that's all uh, in insertion sorting so with that i'll come to the end of this uh, session on insertion sorting